Hey boys and girls, I'm here to talk to you about another science tool that you can use to help you see things that are very small. And this science tool is called a hands le hand lens. Sometimes people call it a magnifying glass and they can come in all different shapes and sizes. Got some different ones here that we might look through. Okay, and I'm gonna do my best to try to show you how to use this by using the smaller one and I'm going to see if it can show it to you. So one of the tools we're going to talk about is measuring tape and centimeters. Now centimeters are kind of small, so you can see those numbers. I'll hold them the right way up so that you can see them. I know mirror image is going to look backwards, but so a magnifying glass, what some people think that you're supposed to do with magnifying glass is hold it really close to your eye and look. Now sometimes that does work, but you can't always get that close to the things. So what you actually want to do is hold your magnifying glass out away from it. It doesn't have to be close up to your eye. See how that two went from really, really small to really big. And the further out I go, the bigger it's gonna get, but then it might be kind of hard for me to see, okay? Some ways that this comes, obviously, if you're going to be observing actual like living things or like parts of leaves or different objects. Uh, my husband does some graphic designing or should I say lane planning. So look at his paper. It's got all these little, little marks and numbers and different things. So I could use my magnifying glass to see things a lot bigger and see what those numbers are. I don't know how he reads these little numbers, but this is just a tool that you could use to see different things and see them up close without actually, not as close as a microscope, we don't need to get that close, but just things that you want to explore and observe a little bit closer up that you might not be able to see with just your eyes. So this is a hand lens. Think about something that you might want to look at with a hand lens. I showed you the centimeters on the measuring tape. I showed you my husband's work paper. But think about something as you being a scientist, you would like to observe and see a little bit closer up using a hand lens. What you're gonna do is down below, well actually you'll have to go up first. You're going to click, there's a blue rectangle that says submit assignment. You're gonna click on that then there'll be a box that will appear. And you can either take a picture, draw a picture of what you would like to observe and take a picture and upload that for me. Or you can click the text entry and that's where you can type what you would like to observe. Either one you do, the most important thing you need to remember with Canvas is after you're done, there is a submit assignment blue button below either your picture that you uploaded or your text that you wrote. Don't forget to click that too. Can't wait to see what you want to observe. 